No matter how many times we see these, I'm always going to be impressed. Uh, we picked up a level. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm wondering if I'm about to die. Holy crap. That didn't seem to do a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Let's Play Starfield. I'm Seven Foot Dust Bunny, and today we're making our way right here back to the lodge. We've got a couple of quests here to hand in at the moment. We've got um, two artifacts to hand over, and we've also got it's good to, be home. Um, to see Walter. And um, I'm actually going to quickly nip and have a bit of a snooze beforehand because I really want the XP at the moment so I'm a bit being a bit optimizing XP which sounds a bit silly but I'm gonna do it anyway all I need to do is take an hour's kip listen to the cheesy line from Sarah and uh, then we can get on with handing the quest in and here we go. Let's uh artifact collection. So we should be able to add two. It's all becoming so overwhelming. The starborn, the artifact visions, the music. Is it all worth it? Mateo, are you having a crisis of faith? You? Yeah, it's what kind if of sounds starborn like starborn are right. What if our hunt for the artifacts is a fool's errand, doomed to failure and catastrophe? Well, you where think is this we're coming doing from? The wrong thing? We just want answers. Isn't that why we all joined in the first place? The noble quest of discovery? Um Actually, I'm not starting to wonder if it's worth it all myself. Um <laughs> No, I I'm with Noel here, I don't think we can abandon this quest for knowledge. Exactly. When the universe presents us with a threat, we can't afford to run away. We need to stay in the fight. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to shame either of you. Blame the workings of a worried mind. I just hope that this journey doesn't turn us into something that we wouldn't recognize from where we are now. Hate to interrupt, but I have a favor to ask. Lot of equipment on the eye has reached the span's end. If we're going to find more artifacts further out, we need work done. Got the nods and signs from Sarah and Walter for the materials, but I need hands. Okay, well, happy to lend a hand, Vlad. Won't be going alone. Need more than just the you and I. Ask around. A few constellations are already on their way up. Okay, fair enough. It's good, and I think we're about to see ourselves a level up, which hey, is Captain. excellent. Can I talk with you for a bit? Um, see sure. Uh, I just need to have a word with Walter first, if that's okay. Uh, Walter. Hope my employees don't give you too much trouble. Uh, no, I think we've managed to get things back on track, my man. Good to hear. I figured as much. See, I just finished looking over the final design they sent over before you arrived. Oh, really? I've got to say, it's certainly interesting. Oh? Uh -huh. They managed to cram just about everything they could into it. Honestly, I don't think it ever occurred to me to do something like that. I'll be honest with you. This is the most expensive ship we've ever made. But I'm confident we can set a price point to make it work. Now I'd be happy to make it my new personal ship. Additionally, I want you to have one of the first off the assembly line for all of your hard work. Feel free to pick it up at the star yard. Thanks again. Holy crap. I wanted to know how much one cost, but um, I, I guess we get one. Woo, free ship, free ship. Um, free ship. Happy days. Okay. I don't suppose it appears in my thing already. I can't sort of nosily take a look at it. 
Oh, I got that basic scarab to get rid of. What? Ooh, this is it, isn't it? This is the Kepler R. Because this is this is Stroud Eklund right here. This is it. Whoa, look at the cargo. Look, whoa, look at the shield. Look at the Class C. Uh, it's nearly fi 500,000. And I would probably tweak the weapons. Hull nearly a thousand. Fuel massive. I love it. I mean, the ass end is ugly as sin. Um, the front end's not bad. The ass end's pretty rough. Um, maybe we can do something about that. But holy shit, that, that's some shield capacity compared to what we've got at the moment. And I believe that's a good generator capacity compared to what we, we're currently running with on the Econo Hall. Yes, that's another five, which I would happily put. Well, you're going to have to put some towards the shield, I guess. Yeah, the Kepler R is going to eat another four on the shield anyway. But I think I would see what I could do with weapons. And, uh... No, actually, that was... That was 19 versus 34, so that's well, quite a lot. Well, I suppose that station in orbit has more than paid for itself at this point. Oh, I, I hope so, Walter. Right, uh, where where did Barrett go? Barrett Captain, was looking for me. Again. I was uncertain you would return. Um, where are you? Actually, Vasco, I'm tempted to drag you back aboard, to be honest, but, um... I want you helping Vladimir when you can. We can't find more artifacts without the eye. Okay, that's no problem. We should head to the station. Yes, I was looking for Barrett. He asked to have a word with me. What did you want to talk about? Do I want to talk to you? Hi there. Oh, how are you How's doing, Sona? Um... Are you getting used to New Atlantis? I don't know if I'll ever get used to being around all these people. Everyone hurrying around, talking, eating, drinking, doing a million things. It's so weird. But kind of exciting at the same time, you know? Going from a planet with a population of three to this one is going to take a lot of patience and trust, that's for sure. I can bet. Um, what do you think of it here? It's amazing. I've never seen anything like it in all my life. Not even in Mom's picture slates. It's almost like like, like a fairy tale. L like it's not real, you know? I'm sure that sounds pretty dumb to you. But hey, I lived in a house made from busted up spaceship parts and trees. Yeah, it all probably seems a bit surreal around here. Hope you don't regret leaving Cassiopeia. Yeah, a little bit. That planet was the only real home that I ever knew. I know it sounds kind of weird, but it feels like I've left my family behind. It was a really tough decision to make. But you and Sarah were right. I had to move on with my life. And hey, one day when I'm old enough, I could always go back for a visit. Hell, I'll take you and look after you in a year or so's time, no problem. Anyway, um, have you met um, Cora? Maybe you two could become friends. Well, there's no other people my age here at the lodge. So it's uh, going to be Cora's kind of here. Actually, Noelle is pretty nice. She said she'd teach me some stuff about science. You know, pick up where my mom left off. Besides that, I don't really care if I make friends or not. You and Sarah are the only friends I'll ever really need. That's sweet. Come but, back and um, visit me again. Honestly? Cora is around somewhere, and uh, would be pretty good for you two to make friends. I've got a feeling Barrett's buggered off to the eye, so we're going to go up to the eye and join everyone up there. Maybe we can speak to Barrett there. Okay, so, made it up to the eye. Hopefully we'll find Barrett around here somewhere. I'm still feeling a, I'm feeling a little bit butthurt about the fact that we've got this really cool ship which I really want to use. 
Oh no, it was 24 in a generator, not 34. Um, but I can't use it, because I can't fly it. Sucks! Sucks! Vlad, Vlad, increase lap times, you're getting old. Okay. Right, so we've got a whole bunch of quest markers here. So I'm guessing this is like, hello, each one of the uh, people we need to speak to around here somewhere. Um, anyone? Okay, I guess that are they all in the main main room? That seems a little bit odd, but um, sure. Ah, there's Baron. Software. Want to test the computer over there? Sure. Vladimir called up this system the first time. Now, how did this work again? Uh, just hit the buttons, that's what I do. Test connection. Ping the lodge. Marvelous. Worked. Perfect. I'm a pro. Now that is some fine teamwork. Oh yeah, like I said, I hit the buttons Perfect. and it always works. Should really help whenever we need to send data back and forth from the lodge. It should. Now, did you have something you wanted I got to discuss? A few more dark corners of my software jet. Oh, okay, you're, you, you, you're so essentially really busy. Okay. Sarah, what are you at? Grab yeah, of course. Of and let's tighten this equipment down. Okay. Um, what do I need to grab? Uh, uh, okay. D -d -d is that just checking in with you? I. Just grab a wrench. Should be quick. Yeah, boom. Well, Find me a wrench and I'm and I'm good to go. There's a wrench right there. Let's grab it. Now you pick up a wrench and help tighten down the equipment. But there's a spark and a small explosion of smoke from one of the electrical boxes. Well, I'm Oops. That wasn't supposed to happen. Check with Vladimir. Uh, I think it blew up your station. You Vlad. the wrong wires. Station showing red. Right. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> uh, how bad is it? Bad. Oh. Okay. What was the problem? I don't really want to blame Sarah, but I guess we're in it Nastier together. Than I measured. Figured a few of the parts might be iffy, but this is going to take more than a span. Oh, I should have checked the compatibility when we made the order. I can stay with you until we get all this fixed. No need for the martyr's clothes, but I'm happy to have the help. As for you, while we're giving the eye the swords, need to tip your ear on another matter when you got the time. Okay. Um, what about the other guys? Do they need help? I... I guess not anymore. Um, okay. What do you have to tip Don't my ear about, my man? But we got more competition. Not Starborn, rival collector. Captain Petrov owns a salvager vessel called the Scow, runs it like a palace of novelties, and he's got a new prize in his collection. Oh. So I'm guessing he, we're talking an artifact. So you said. Yeah, clear. I thought we already had some eccentric collector. Reached out through my hand to hands to see if we can do an honest swap. He says the rock ain't for sale for any price. Think we're gonna need a crowbar and bag for this one. Oh, I don't really want to steal it from him. You think he knows more about the artifacts? He's got a reputation for seeing the gold in things, but he's no lab coat. Thinking he knows it's unique, but not why. All the more reason to clutch tightly. Right. Um, but I'm not gonna. I don't feel like I want to steal it from Left him. Left the life of a jack of bones behind myself. I know what I'm asking. But I see a clutch prize not up for the prying any other way. Not sending you lone hook on the job. I want Barrett with you on this one. You two will be foot to foot the whole way, so make sure you're ready. 
Uh, I was hoping to take Sarah. Can I not borrow Sarah? Um, <laughs> you really think we'll have to steal it? As we always say, each member of Constellation is their own conscience. I'll leave the details of the doing to you. Okay. Well, we'll head out, but um, I think I'm probably going to hit another task on route. Just smile out there. Okie dokie. Barrett is now available for your crew. Just well, Barrett wanted him to talk to me. Where the hell is Sarah gone? Let's talk. I have to talk about the Starborn. Do you have a second? You do, right? Uh, I have several. Um, what do you want to talk about? Right? How could we not talk about it for the rest of our lives? It could be the dawn of a new era of humanity. Or it could be an elaborate prank or any number of mundane explanations. Yeah, I think you might be over overing it. I don't think it's... I don't think it's aliens. Um... Hmm... Time travelers, not sure. Dimension hoppers, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, time travelers. I didn't detect any localized time distortion, which isn't required for that hypothesis, but... Oh, yeah, joking. I knew that. Jeez. We just need more data. There has to be a way to draw them out and figure out where they're coming from. Well, I've seen them pop in from, like, nowhere, which is what makes me think dimension hopping. Um, well, we know they wanted the artifact. That's got to be significant, yes. And we need to let them know that we mean them no harm. I think they actually know that. I just don't think they care. I think they have their own agenda here. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I know they wanted the artifact. That has to be significant. It's one of our few facts about them. It seemed very important to them, too. This could be a turning point for humanity, you know? Or it could be just the emergence of a powerful new faction, or some sort of elite military tech, or a gazillionaire with nothing else to do. All we know is that they wanted that artifact badly. Yeah, well, we need to know their motives. They're, they definitely have a motive. I don't think they're fancy thieves. I think they have Agreed. motives. That is going to require more observations, more encounters with them. And who knows? Maybe we'll never see them again. Maybe. I have my doubts, sir. What's right. new? Um, you're already following me, then. Okie okay, frisbee. Uh -huh. Exactly. So yeah, are you following me, Barrett? Or are you, or are you... I'm going to assign you to crew. Let's put it that way. Let, let's do that. Wow. Um, everyone else is no longer available to be crew. Only Barrett. So I guess Barrett is the only crew I'm going to get. So what does Starship Starship Engineering, does that mean I can actually upgrade while Barrett's on crew with Starship Engineering parts? Because that would be nifty. Um, I mean, particle weapons, awesome. Definitely wouldn't mind more damage from my particle weapons. Oh bollocks, I meant to upgrade a weapon. I need to go back to the lodge and do that before we do go anywhere doing anything. Um, rifle certification can definitely go up one. Uh, persuasion, we're not there yet. Mm. I mean, there's other things like special projects and stuff that I would love to get involved with. But there's no way I'm going to be doing 30 weapons mods, so that's not going to be going up. 
I would be tempted to save it for pushing this up because I want to push up the ship now as fast as possible. But I think it's going to be rifle certification. Okay. We're done with rifle certification. And right, so I'm going to go back to the lodge and... I mean, you following me, Barry, Hello, yes? Captain. Yes, you are. Well, that's all I okay. Have to. Indeed. I'm going to go back to the lodge and see if I can do some upgrades. I might have to take some materials back with me. And then we'll head out. Well, I do have a whole lot of stuff I can still research, but I have only 11 adhesive left and it's not enough for most of the things. Um, and if I use it, I'm not going to be able to make the mods I want to weapons. I'm already out of titanium, which may give me a problem. So I might have to hunt around for things because um, I've got a reflex sight. Um, I was hoping to get a recon scope here, which we can, what if which we would leave be a few useful. Here and make a second trip? He's getting upset because I'm carrying lots of stuff. Yes, I need titanium, you see. Because then I can have stealth lasers. Not that that... I'm mainly only interested in the accuracy side of the stealth lasers there. I need more adhesive for that. So when I go out for titanium, I'll have to see if I can get some more. So I'm going to do a hop around for materials and then come back and we'll see what we can do. Okay, so I've been around and got some various goodies here. And um, if I go... Oh dear, I just picked some. Shuffle things around? No, I do not. Yes, I'm carrying a lot because I'm carrying everything off my ship and everything here. Now, I need, as you will see here, a lot of adhesive. I have 33. I need 10 adhesive for internal mods which I think is probably going to be worth it. But um, for grips and stock mods, I need 20 adhesive, which would leave me with three. That is probably not going to be acceptable because I need adhesive for some of the mods I want to do over here. Now, this grip and stock mod on the Orion, it says specialized mag assisted Stock vastly increases accuracy and recoil control at the cost of aiming down sights speed while standing. So it takes longer to pick it up and aim down the sights. Fine. I want it more as a sniper weapon. So I will hopefully be in position once I'm aimed down sights and switching won't be a big deal. Um, but it doesn't give me any sort of accuracy change or anything here it just weighs a lot and i think i would have to test it so i'm not sure if that's worth it plus i would need three adhesive to do that um recon laser i've already got and recon laser marks enemies while aiming greatly increases accuracy so that should stop me i think needing like a recon scope which essentially does the same thing Instead, I can go for a medium scope, which will be better for a sniper situation and increases the accuracy to 85%. Muzzle mod. Um, could go for the stealth lasers, but I'm going to go for the fo focus nozzle again, because that's going to up the damage to 81.2 and increase my range, hence a sniper weapon.
So, yes, having had a closer look at it, I was thinking about whether I wanted to do something with the Urban Eagle. I didn't have anything else on the ship I wanted to mess with. The Urban Eagle I'm actually going to put away now, I think. And I'm going to run just on... I had the old Orion here that did 51. The new Orion that does over double. So that's good. Um, my Equinox now does 50. The Beowulf I'm also going to drop. And that I just had kicking around. Actually, I should unstore that and sell it. But never mind. I've got 600,000 credits. It's not as if I'm running short on credits. So that's going to shorten my lineup significantly for now um in terms of weapons because hopefully if we have a look here we should just have those i i could probably do with some more rounds for these i mean it does say 99 plus so i'm guessing we've got we've got nearly a thousand rounds so that's not too bad i guess and i think that leaves us good to go Okay, Barrett wants to chat already. Um, and I guess Sarah's still kicking around here somewhere. After Never Vlad that. stole her from me. Still need to lift another set today. Been dragging. Shoulder stiff. Okay. So, one, I have some Let's survey deal. data. Would you like to buy some? Oh yeah, you pay good money for the survey data. Excellent. Lucky and I noticed the pattern artifact. in one of Temple. those artifacts you pulled out. Here. Right. So there's a power on Altair 3. <laughs> We've just bloody been there. Anyway, Barrett. What's up, my man? I've been thinking a lot about my early days in Constellation lately. Really? It got me pretty nostalgic and I started digging in some old things. Just sort of reminiscing. I found some of Irvin's last messages to me and thought I'd listen to them again to hear his voice. Ah, oh, sounds nice. And while depressing but also comforting, depending on how you feel about it after all this time. It was surreal, honestly. So most of the messages were everyday things. Lots of excitedly written news about biodiversity and plant life. But one thing stood out. In one of his messages, he mentioned this job that he took at a mine shortly before he died. He said something terrible was happening there. But the message was garbled after that. Okay. I mean, incel comms not always reliable, but that sounds like garbled for a different reason. I hope there's a point to say. So, look, I'm going to say that because the other answers it's offering me are terrible. True, so. but this was different. I recognized this pattern from the war. A portion of the message was encrypted. Right. Well, Vasco helped me decipher it. Turns out the message was from Irvin, and he was begging me to help him. The message uh, was short, but his voice was pained. He was so upset. <laughs> Let's get the time machine. Um... That must have been very difficult to hear, mate. Especially if you didn't know about it at the time and that's how he died. <sighs> yes. Hearing his voice in so much pain was very difficult. Oh, I wish I had noticed this message when he sent it. So in this message, Irvin said he was being framed. He said they'll do it again. He asked if Constellation could send more help. All right. Um, who is they? I'm framed for what? Yeah, both good questions. His former employers had some job he took before he died. I think it was a mining company. Right. And he was being framed for what? This is sounding artifact smelling like. Not exactly sure, but he mentioned a court case. So I think there's a paper trail. Okay. And you didn't catch on to this encrypted message before? No, I just thought it was garbled. I just wasn't paying attention. I don't know. Uh, I can imagine how how um, it would be like that. I mean, if you're listening to your partner's 
voice. You're thinking about other things. But, look. The recording is 20 years old. What, 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 what can we do? It is, but I was thinking about it and, well, it's still wrong. Right? So I, I agree. Figured, hey, I can do some sort of a remote investigation here. See what I can find out. There's got to be a paper trail, right? Now, I'm with you. I happen to have a trustworthy contact who knows a bit about law and owes me a favor. I need to pay in advance in case there are any access fees or bribes. So, you want some credits? Look, man, if it brings you some peace, two and a half grand is fine by me. That works. I'll tell them to go ahead with the investigation. You know, hearing Irvin's voice again made me want to help him, <laughs> even though I know I can't. Does that make any sense? Absolutely. Um, look, <laughs> everything makes sense when you say it. I don't think this will help him, but it might bring you peace. So, look, if everyone was that upset, it must it must have been important and could still be important to bring you closure. I appreciate that. It's going to be hard to get some sleep tonight after all this. But the fact that I'm doing something about it might be enough to help. Hopefully poking around in old records doesn't catch the attention of Hephaestus. Well, Who? anyway, I'll let you know if my contact finds anything. Who? Okay. Was was that was that all for that for now? Okay. Um. So we've still got to no sudden moves where we have to travel to the scow. But let's um. Let's acquire a power. Maybe it will be helpful for this. I mean, though we already have precognition, which could come in bloody handy. I need to remember to to use that. When we're there, but we know Altair is relatively clear, so let's head out over to Altair 3 and uh, see if we can get this um, power quickly before we head over to the scow. Time to park this buggy. I'm sorry, Bart. Did you just call my ship a bucket? Look, it's better than the freaking um, Frontier, and I've actually grown strangely fond of this ship, you know. Um, she's not the best fighter in the world, but I've grown to like her a lot. Anywho, off to see what power we're going to get. It has just occurred to me I mean, Barrett hasn't said anything special, but if you've got Barrett with you, does he acquire a power as well? I mean, he had the visions too. Fair enough, Barrett, but seriously, do you get powers too? Because that would be good to know. Mm, no idea what this power yes, is. All right. Get ready. Get ready, my dude. Someone is going to turn up. Creator's Peace. What the hell is that? Um, I haven't got my Dragon Shout on me, have I? Um, hello? Let's... Oh, yeah. That is quite a bit more effective. Upgrades. Bar upgrades. That was well worth it. So, awesome. I don't suppose... Look, there's another power on Altair 4C, which is uh, near where you picked up the other one. So, looks like we're going double power here. So, I think we're going to have to do that one as well. Okay, and power number two for today. Let's see what we pick up this time. No matter how many 
times we see these, I'm always going to be impressed. Uh, we picked up a level. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm wondering if I'm about to die. Holy crap. That didn't seem to do a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Barrett, did you get him? Because no, 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 Barrett, you did not get him. Barrett, you let me down. Sarah is much better at this. Sarah is Fine. much better at Let's this. Go. Where is this guy? Ah, this never gets old. Sarah is definitely better at this, my dude. Right. So you picked up a level. Um, and we picked up a power which I didn't see what it was. Um, so precognition we had. Active shield we had. I think solar flare. Which is tap into the power of the sun and release a directed orb of searing hot plasma. So this is basically... I'm going to say shoot someone with your hand. And the other one was Creator's Peace, which is fill your foe with the, si with the silent calm of the universe, compelling them to temporarily abandon their weapons. Um, okay. I mean, I'm assuming this is, yeah, this is, this is shoot them with your hand. I, I, something tells me this is going to be like the Dragon Shout version version and not actually that powerful. Though we picked up quite a lot of XP there. So I don't think we're in a position to rank up either of those yet. Oh, I should have looked to do uh, whether I could do some more spacesuit stuff. Astrodynamics not going to worry about. Surveying not going to worry about. Medicine I'm not going to worry about for now. I mean, I'd actually like to pick up some wellness because I do want to get up here, but ultimately it, it kind of seems like a balance. I don't know if you've noticed this, but look here you get restores 10%, 10% faster. So there is the speed benefit. Yeah. But this increases your health by 10% and med packs um, restore a percentage of your health. So both this and wellness have the same effect in less combined, in which case the effect increases. Um, Starship engineering could be useful, but we're not there yet either. I'd like to destroy some more ships because then I can bring this up to rank B and I'm one step closer to being able to use my new Stroud Eklan ship. Um, so I wouldn't mind finding some ships to fight. Outposts. Uh, maybe later, not now. Rifle certification we're still working on. Marksman, I would like to get ballistics. I should never have bothered with. Um, marksman, I would like to get, but <sighs> I think I'm just going to hold on to the point for now. Okay. And with this beautiful view in front of me, and where the hell is my ship? Over there. Um, I'm going to call it an episode here, I think. Although we're ending this episode a teensy weensy bit early. Um, I think it's good because next time we can go straight onto the scow. And um, I guess try and complete that quest and get our girlfriend back. Because the one thing about not having Sarah around, I noticed, um, at least even as a person on the ship, is that I'm down to only a 10% XP boost. Sad times. Anyway, join me again next time and we'll get that quest sorted. Thanks a lot.